in this video. The Bitcoin price has played out our technical analysis exactly as predicted both in the shorter time frame as well as in the bigger time frame. Well, stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily videos like this. So yeah, for today's video, we are going to talk about two things. And number one is the short-term price action analysis, which is yung video natin sa previous episode natin. And of course, yung isang analysis is in the bigger time frame, which is the daily time frame. And yeah, it's because we started hitting our targets both in the shorter time frame and both in the longer time frames exactly. So right now, we are currently in profits in all of our analysis. So yeah, right now, let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis, both in the short term as well as the longer term. So for the short term, diba sa ating previous video, ang minamonitor natin was this falling wedge forming within the 4-hour time frame. And sinabi natin to this week na for the short term, we are seeing a potential move. And that is because, yun nga, meron tayong falling wedge. And traditionally, a falling wedge is a bullish trend reversal pattern. And traditionally, ang target niya is the top of the wedge, which is around 27,300. And take a look at this, guys. That area, we met that target exactly as predicted last night. So we met that target and that was already a good take profit opportunity. And diba sabi ko sa inyo, it's a good take profit profit opportunity but it's not the best kasi typically the best take profit opportunity would happen if we if our RSI is above the 70 threshold. And take a look at this, right now RSI is currently above 70. So right now it's, start, it's starting to indicate or actually it's indicating that right now it's actually the best time to take profit for the short term. It's time for us to close long positions kasi it has actually met our target at the same time oversold na siya. So, people will more likely start to sell for the short term na dito. But when it comes to the long term, of course, different analysis natin. But for the short term, as you can see, namitan natin yung target. The bullish divergence played out exactly as predicted then. And bullish divergences are wherein the price is declining while RSI is increasing. So, that has played out exactly then. And right now, what's next for the Bitcoin price action? So, in yun nakita natin dito for the short term. And for the next dito for, for the short term, I think what we have to watch out is where are we going to form a resistance dito kay Bitcoin price action. And with that being said, we are going to dive in sa ating bigger time frame kasi in the short term, what we have to do is we have to wait out for the next indicators to form kasi dito, ang clear indicator right now is just for us to sell and wala tayong next move kung ano mangyari doon. But for the longer time frame, as you can see sa mga previous videos natin, this longer time frame chart is the one which we have been following na for ilang days na nga and or actually ilang weeks. We have been following this chart ever since April 16, 2023. So, it's been roughly at least one and a half month na monitoring dip na nangyari dito. So, diba, one and a half month ago, I've been telling you guys that we are going to monitor this falling wedge forming within the daily time frame. And sabi ko sa inyo, you have to be very patient lang in order for us to see this massive move. And typically, the best time to buy is whenever na we are below this, ano, ito, itong area na yan. Whenever na we are below that area, that is actually one of the best time to buy. Kasi if you're going to look at the previous movement kay Bitcoin, whenever na we are in that area, doon tayo nakita ng malaking bounce. But if ever na magkaroon tayo ng candle close dito below, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, if may candle close below, what we have to watch out is a volume. Kasi if, let's say, may sell volume upon this breakdown, then that is a confirmed breakout to the downside. Pero anong nangyari, walang sell volume dito. So, nagkaroon siya ng breakdown, pero walang sell volume. So, in that case, that is not a confirmed breakdown and that can more likely lead into a fake out. And look at what happened it exactly played out exactly as predicted and we have been saying that for the past almost two months na nga yung analysis natin yun and right now all of it are currently playing out exactly as predicted so congratulations guys if you're currently in profit because of our analysis for the past two months but right now what is next dito kay bitcoin so diba sabi ko kanina what we have to watch out is the longer time frame and as you can see in the longer time frame we are now starting to hit a massive resistance dito kay bitcoin kasi previously the 30,000 area was the one wherein we saw a lot of rejection. So, noong May 2022, nagkaroon tayo na rejection dyan. I know, Bitcoin went down because of that massive rejection. And same goes no April 2023. That is the same area wherein we saw a massive rejection din dito kay Bitcoin. And if you're going to look back further back in time, that 30,000 area, that eh, when we were above that area, that area has acted as a support area. So, whenever na we are bouncing that area, we are actually getting a lot of bullish bounces dito dati kay Bitcoin. And yun nga, nangyari din siya noong 2021. 
both around the around June 2021 don't tayo na ako na malaking bounce right now we are also at that similar area but the question is are we going to break this resistance na yan kasi if we are going to break that resistance then our next target is going to be the 43,000 US dollars na nga but yeah that is a far matagal pa siya bago mag play out pa kasi yun nga medyo malaki tong time frame na to but yeah at least we can now start to look into the future na nga if ever na we break this so yeah, we have to be prepared na for the next move. So, ano ba yung next move dito? So, let's see ang mangyari dito kay Bitcoin as magkaroon siya ng candle close above this red area. Kasi magkaroon siya ng candle close above that area, at the same time, meron tayong buy volume, then we can actually continue this uptrend pa akit kay Bitcoin. So, in that case, that is a long-term uh, buying opportunity, and that is also a long position then we can take advantage. Pati pang nangyari is, nagkaroon tayo, ng, nagkaroon tayo ng candle close above this area, pero walang buy volume, na medyo delikado yun. So, in that case, you open, instead of open a long position na dira-diretso, what you do is a DCA strategy wherein you will dollar cost average your way in. Hatiin nyo yung pera nyo and then just buy partially lang. Eh, kasi, typically, yung ma breakout without buy volume, that can lead into a fake out. Kasi usually, if walang buy volume, pwede siya bumagsak at mag-lead siya into a fake out. In that case, may hit yung stop loss, tapos pwede tayo magkaroon ng loss. So, in this case, uh, if walang buy volume, then make sure to set stop loss lang talaga. And think before you, ano, before you open a trade dito kasi if walang buy volume, delikado yung trade na yun. So, as much as possible, always wait for a buy volume. So, that is the scenario only if we are going to see a candle close above the red area. Pero if walang candle close above the red area, then we are not going to open any new trade for the time being kasi, as you can see, it's a massive resistance and typically, we are going to get rejected in that resistance. So, not unless we see a candle close with buy volume, then do time ago open the next trade to five Bitcoin. And take note, guys, if you want to open your next trade, make sure to check out our tutorial video sa description down below. If you want to learn how to trade for free, if you want to learn how to trade Bitcoin from scratch, at lahat yan, lahat ng tutorial videos natin ay for free. So, wala namang kayang kailangang bayaran. Just take a look at the playlist. Then, of course, tuloy tuloy na kung paano kayo matututo. And, of course, the best place to trade Bitcoin is actually in Bybit din kasi dito mas mura yata yung Bitcoin trading fees. So if you want to learn how to open a trade kay Bybit, make sure to check out our description down below on how to open a trade dito kay Bitcoin price action on Bybit. And yeah, if if let's say you want to claim up to 4,000 US dollar bonus kay Bybit, make sure to use our sign up link. It's also got available in the description down below guys. So all of them are available in the description down below. So make sure to check out all of those links guys. But anyway, muna update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.